What's up guys? I'm back. Um, I don't know why I said I'm back. This is a usual weekly video, but if you uh, checked out my 20 minute hit workout, follow along workout that I posted last Wednesday, so a little over a week ago, um, well, today I'm going to explain what is HIT, what is HIT training, and why is it good, just explain all of it. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So like I said, HIT training is a form of training I've done multiple times in my life. I like it, I do enjoy it. Um, so what it is, it's high intensity interval training. That's what HIT stands for. And that's basically, you give 100% effort, really intense for a short amount of time, and then you rest for a longer amount of time. You just have like a rest recovery, and then you go really hard. So go really hard, rest. Go really hard, rest. So it's interval, intense interval training. Um, so that might be like 30 seconds on, going really hard, and then 15 second, 10, 15 second rest, and then you go 30 seconds on again, and you do that for like five exercises, and then you rest a couple minutes in between the circuits. So that's normally how I do it. But it could also be like you're riding a bike and you go really, really hard, as fast as you can for 30 seconds and then you go just like a leisurely slow pace for a minute or two or three even. So it's just high intensity for a short interval and then you rest and then repeat. So it's usually like in a circuit format because um, I don't really know how else you do that. Um, and it can be pretty much any exercise. So you could do, I've done some with weights, with dumbbells, I do a lot of body weight. Pretty much any exercise you can think of, you could throw it into a HIIT workout. Um, it's pretty convenient in that aspect. And it's usually 10 to 30 minutes long. HIIT workouts are pretty short, 10, 30 minutes long, um, which is a great thing about them. That's one of the major reasons I utilize them. Um, and the goal of HIIT workouts is to get your heart rate up, get your blood pumping um, in a short amount of time. So you might be wondering why do I do it and why should you consider doing it? Um, so let's get into some of the benefits of HIIT training. So number one, it's it creates a high calorie burn during the workout. You burn quite a bit of calories. Um, a study comparing HIIT to weight training, running, and biking found that HIIT training uh, burn 25 to 30 percent more calories in 30 minutes than any of the other forms. So it's a pretty good for a short amount of time. That's a high calorie burn, and burning calories enables you to eventually burn fat if you're in a caloric deficit, which means you're burning more calories total than you're consuming. And I've mentioned that various times before. If you scroll down on my YouTube channel, there is a video explaining how to lose weight. I think it's called the only way to lose weight, and that's where I go into the caloric deficit in stuff. And then the second benefit, another one, is it boosts the metabolism. Now this is probably the best benefit of HIIT training that most people might not realize and it's very, very um, helpful and just great to know and that is boosting metabolism. So that means even after the workout, you're burning more calories. Just like doing nothing, you're burning more calories in the day because of your HIIT training. So how does this happen? And I did not know this until I made this video and went up to search it and find it. So I will explain it as best I can. So because HIIT training is so intense, it really gets your blood pumping and it's creating an, like your body needs oxygen. You're really panting hard. And if you've done a HIIT workout, you know exactly what I mean. You're breathing hard. And because that's a lot of breaths in a short amount of time, after the workout's done, you need your body's going to continue um, breathing slightly harder. You probably won't notice it. But let's continue breathing more to return your body back to homeostasis or just your normal state. So all that extra breathing and go, trying to make your body go back to normal is creating calorie burn that whole entire time. And sometimes this can last up to 48 hours, but just all you need to know is because you're going so hard in the workout, your body's taking more time to burn more calories and return back to normal after the workout, which is great. And I love it. And after a HIIT workout, you feel really good too. Um, the third benefit is that it is quick and convenient. This is a great thing about HIIT workouts. I love them for this. Is It's just so quick. 10 to 30 minutes. Uh, you can do it almost anywhere. You could do it 
in your kitchen, a hotel room, or even a bathroom if you so choose. You can do it pretty much anywhere as long as you have enough space for your body to lay on the ground probably. Um, so it's really convenient um, and just super easy to do anywhere. Number four, I think this is the fourth benefit, is it can even build muscle. HIIT training can build muscle in some cases, but it is not the best type of training to build muscle. As I've mentioned before, the best type of training to build muscle is resistance training. If you go watch my YouTube video, I say why everyone should lift weights. Um, so resistance training is the no question best way to build muscle. Um, but with HIIT training, you can build muscle. It's not, you're not super, super likely, but you can. Now, the last benefit that I'm going to mention is it's good for your cardiovascular system. I mean, if you do HIIT workouts, you know it's like cardio. Like, you're breathing really hard, so it gets your blood pumping. Uh, your lungs are pumping, too. Uh, so it's just a cardiovascular system. is It's good for that, um, especially I'm not a big runner or anything, so... It's helpful, do a HIIT workout every now and then. It's also good for your cardiovascular system because it is technically cardio. In conclusion, HIIT workouts are great if you have a short amount of time. So if you only have 30 minutes, I definitely say do a HIIT workout because that's gonna work perfectly, best bang for your buck. <clears throat> but use it in moderation because if you're not motivated, HIIT workouts are really going to suck. They're very intense and lack of motivation is going to make them suck so bad and you're just not going to want to do them and might not even do them. So just, I'd say using moderation and rely on a different form of training or a training that you will actually do. Uh, the best training, the best exercises are the ones you will actually do consistently. Yeah, consistently. Um, and that leads me into resistance training is still the best in my opinion. I recommend literally everyone resistance train. I think that is the absolute best type of training you can do for your body, for your overall health. And I went into detail on that in multiple videos, I think. But if you're wondering, go watch my video. It says why I think everyone should lift weights. Seriously, that's the one video I want literally everyone to watch because it's very important and I don't think enough people realize the benefits they can get from lifting weights and doing resistance training. Um, resistance training, I say this because you can sculpt and change your body. You can literally make it how you want it. And at the same time, you can be burning fat. In some cases, you can burn fat and build muscle. So it's the best of both worlds. Um, in not all cases, but if you build muscle, you're just going to look more tight. You're not going to get super jacked really easily. Ladies, I'm talking to you. You're not going to get absolutely huge. You're going to be, you don't have the testosterone to do that. So you're going to stay tight you're just going to look more tight and it's going to kind of replace your fat per se not technically but it's going to replace your fat and just make you look the way you want you can literally sculpt your body you have the power to change that part of you so i still think resistance training is best go check out that video if you haven't already um so i use hit workouts when i have a little bit of time basically if i don't have much time or i'm away on vacation or out of town with no access to a gym I will do HIIT workouts um, just because they're easy. I can get away quick, do them, and get my calorie burn up and still stay active. Um, and a lot of times if I don't stay active, I don't feel very good. I feel kind of gross or lazy. So for my mental health, I really need to get some sort of exercise most of the time. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. I hope this helped. And if you have any questions about the HIIT workouts or any type of training or any questions at all, I am always here. I want to answer your guys' questions. Leave them in the comments down below. DM me. Um, check out my website. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Instagram, my TikTok. Everything's linked below in the description. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, maybe go do a HIIT workout now today <laughs> or go pump some iron. That's what I recommend. Um, if you need help or guidance with any of your workouts or training, once again, check out my website, grantjohnsonfitness.com, linked in the description down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and goodbye.